Hey guys, welcome to Match Cube. Today I have my hands on the very new paper that's International Advanced Subsidiary Advanced Level Pure Mathematics P4. As you can see, that's a very fresh paper and that's in 2021. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first question A part states that find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of, uh, as you can see, the function I will be here and out giving each coefficient in its simplest form uh, and they say that the abstract of x is less than 1 upon 20 so in this case we have to expand the bracket but first what we need to do is take out the factor and what factor I'll let you know now if you guys remember from your binomial expansion uh, chapter that whenever we have a binomial expansion we have something kind of this thing uh, we always have a 1 into the expansion uh, uh, with the x polynomial and any any power set to it so we have to take the factor of 1 upon 4 out and you can see and the equation is 1 upon 4 we need to have 1 here so we will take the factor of 1 upon 4 out of the bracket there you go that's uh, I've taken the factors out uh, 1 upon 4 out and in whatever in the bracket is 1 minus 20x and in case if you're wondering how did I get minus 20x if you can see 5x and when I divide it by 1 upon 4 I get 20x or if I just multiply it or just reverse the signs then it comes as 20x and that's how I got to 20 and now for the main part of uh, what I'll do is I'll just expand the bracket or uh, binomial expansion which takes place. So remember guys our first term uh, in every question is 1. So that's a, a, so that's a key here. So that's a tip you can say. Guys if you remember that I took the factor of 1 upon 4 outside the bracket um, and then set it to some function inside the bracket and that to the power 1 upon uh, 2 so the same applies to here 1 upon 4 will be raised to 1 upon 2 so don't forget to raise it to the power so a quarter raised to the power half will be equal to a half and that's done uh, i'll take this one half uh, later on to the video and multiply it with the uh, product i'll get our first function is one as i earlier told you uh, that's one always and now the second function to find second function there's a formula you have to remember and that's n into x so n is our power as you can see and that x is always in functions x polynomial and that's minus 5 so that will be minus 5 or you can say um, minus 20 into half because we took the factor out so minus 20 into half is minus 10 there you go our second term has been done now moving on to the third one um, the third Term gets a n n minus one. That's a formula, and everything divided by two into factorial into x square. So the polynomial is squared now, and that's our formula for finding the third term. So I'll just plug in the values here. Remember, guys, two factorial is two because two into 1 is 2 only there you go saving your time and x square will be minus 20 x squared so that will be 400 x squared Oops. if you if you square any negative term that becomes a positive so that will be 400 x squared so that's done now to the to the power half into half minus 1 will be a negative quarter there you go and now plugging them into your calculator and multiplying straight out you'll get minus 50 x square and that's our third term done now the last the fourth term uh, uh, same applies here the formula you have to remember them I'll just write it down so to find the fourth term we have a formula that's a bit lengthy but if you remember it that's good because I don't think so the worksheet or the math booklet formula booklet required. Uh, 
has it so that there you go that's the power done now the division one so that's multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 factorial and x cubed so the, the polynomial is cubed now so first dealing with the factorial that's 3 into 2 into 1 that's how you saw factorials and that will give me 6 so the factorial has been done and now just uh, cubing minus 20 because that's our x here so when you cube a negative function you get a negative only because that's the odd function there so that will give me an 8000 x cube there you go and now moving on to the powers that's a half multiplied by minus half and multiply by minus 3 upon 2 and that gives us a positive 3 over 8 now just plug the values in and you'll find that it is it has been minus 500 x cube now our uh, four terms have been done but remember that we took the factor of 1 upon 4 outside and then square uh, then uh, took that power to one half and that gave us a half so we'll multiply everything with a half and that will be our final product giving each over efficiency in this form and that will be there you go that's our final product one half minus 5x minus 25x squared minus 250x cubed and then what you can do is you can just add a small positive sign and then just show that this process or this polynomial expansion is never ending because there are a lot of functions to be expanded here so yeah there you go 5 marks down now coming on to the b part so the b part says that by substituting x equal to 1 on 200 into an answer for a find an approximation for root 5 give your answer in the form a upon b where a and b are integers to be found so this question is uh, quite easy one because uh, you only have to substitute this x value where and uh, yeah exactly you have to s substitute here in that x and just find what you get here so when i substitute a 1 to 100 into 5x i get 5 upon 100 and now just doing basic math a quarter minus 5 upon 100 is 1 upon 5 or 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 raised to the power half will give us an approximation of 0 0.447213595 and that's approximation and what you can also do is um, just take this x value 1 upon 100 and substitute it in the form we got in a after expanding in binomial so after doing that we will get 0 0.44725 that's the closest we get and this value here in the fraction form we get as so this is the approximation so root 5 uh, the approximation for root 5 is 1789 upon 4000 where a is 1789 and b is 4000 and that's it guys uh, we are done with the binomial expansion question that's 5 and 2 marks 7 mark question done thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos from this series